All right. The second thing I mentioned that a uh, that LU decomposition can do is it can be used to find the determinant of a, and this um, comes from a few useful properties, and and this isn't in the book, and uh, but but it's true, and, and so it is a useful uh, function of LU decomposition um, to find the determinant of a. Well, we just realized the determinant of a is equal to uh, the determinant of L times the determinant of U. And another useful thing is the determinant, uh, determinant, the determinant of a triangular matrix is product, the product of the diagonal. So uh, the determinant of L here I'll do that one in my head. The determinant of L then if 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 we have ones on the diagonal like like we did using the decomposition we did, the determinant of L is just going to equal one. And so then the determinant of A is just going to equal the determinant of U. And the determinant of U is just the product of the diagonal elements and we could we could write that pi the product from uh, i equals 1 uh, to n if, if there's um, the number of elements and then you just say we just call it uh, uh, I'll just call it little u i i it's got to have the same entry so the product of the diagonal elements and that's it that's all you do uh, to find the determinant so I just think that's a little nifty little thing nice to know another thing that the LU decomposition can do uh, and then finally it, it can be used to find the condition help find the condition number of a um, and really this is indirectly because it can help us find a inverse so so really this is this is just through a inverse but it, it brings up the topic and it leads us into the topic uh, of condition number so we're just going to then move from here uh, directly to the topic of condition number.